Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at two methods for eliminating debt and also how to save and pay off your debt. So first, let's get into our two methods for eliminating debt. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below um, with this example. If I had a loan of $100 at 3% and I, I had a loan of $200 at 5%, which one would you choose to pay off first? According to the debt snowball method, you would want to pay off the smaller loan of $100 um, with as much um, intensity as you possibly can while just making minimum payments on the higher loan, uh, $200 loan. In turn, the debt avalanche would then make payments with uh, more intensity at the $200 loan and make your minimum payments on your smaller loan. People in finance debate this, um, these two methods all the time. Ultimately, if you do use the debt avalanche method, you might save a little money, um, but there's social science research that shows that um, the positive um, little markers that you get by paying off that first loan and then moving on to your next, um, it's proven that people are more likely to um, continue paying off until all their debt is done. There can be a lot of feelings of hopelessness when you have major debt um, that you're trying to get rid of and so that's why the debt snowball might be your better option if you are looking to um, follow through and crush your debt as quickly as possible. Like I've said, I'd love to kind of hear what you um, think about these two methods, which one you think is more um, relevant for your life um, and leave that in the comments below. So now let's kind of skip forward and consider that maybe you are looking to um, you chose your one way of paying off your debt. Now, how can you reach your goals a little faster? Let's take a look at how you can save and pay off your debt. I'm going to go through six ways that you can pay off your debt, um, hopefully faster by saving um, in a variety of different ways. The first two are the two areas that uh, I feel like I need to kind of work on um, when I'm in regards to saving um, extra money. First one is delaying pleasure. So I like to golf. Um, and so I actually have gotten a lot better at it, but you know, whenever it's a beautiful day and I have a little freedom, maybe it's not going out um, as many times as I might want to do. Maybe it's going to concerts for you and sit in front row. Maybe it's going on those vacations. Maybe it's um, sporting events. Whatever it might be, delaying pleasure you know, for a short period of time until you get rid of your debt or until you're able to save for whatever you might want to be saving for, then you can do those other little things um, that might help, help along the way. The next way that you can save and pay off debt is to prepare at home and fix yourself. So as you can see in the picture, we have some fingernails. Rather than spending um, a lot of money to get your nails done, which I'm sure um, a lot of you might like to do, you know, you say, nice thing you can do, you can try to do it yourself or have a family or friend do it for you um, and it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Uh, trying to stay at home when you're eating, that can save you a lot of money rather than going out all the time. Fixing things around the house, I am not a handyman, but I wish I was. Utilize YouTube uh, tutorials, find ways that you can fix things yourself rather than having to hire someone to come out and do it for you. Um, and then lastly, just making coffee at home um, or just, just those little, um, little things that you might like to do that definitely are nice, but just cutting back on that um, and maybe even you know, cutting it out completely for a couple months. Cut up and close credit cards. Um, some of you may have credit cards and you pay them off right away and that's great if, you, if you're able to do that. Um, that's actually what I do. I know that's not the Dave Ramsey way, but I do um, have credit cards that earn a lot of points and it helps us to travel and do some things um, for free a lot of times. And so that's what we choose to do. But if you're not someone who makes those payments on credit cards, it can rack up quickly and it can cause um, chaos in your life, a lot of stress. So I would strongly advise if you can't do that, 
stop using those credit cards try to get those cards paid off call um, call them up and see if you can work a deal to maybe um, pay less on the dollar to, to finish those loans up that you've racked up on the credit cards. The next area is to review, reallocate, budget, and spending. Um, this can go in a lot of ways. I'm just going to hit on a couple things. I have a picture of an envelope there. Um, the envelope is to designate maybe you want to um, use the envelope system. It's a little old-fashioned. Uh, it might not be cool, but guess what? Getting and being in debt is not cool either so um, being able to have envelope system that may that you mark down with what cash is for what each month um, that might be one way you want to do just have a picture of like a balance so making sure that you do have your different um, areas of your budget balanced um, looking at the calendar and really kind of planning your month um, is definitely key anytime you're budgeting and just once again, just continuing to reallocate money, um, reviewing it, looking at where you're at. You shouldn't just um, hope that you have the money each month. You should be looking at it um, and you know, develop a little team between you and your spouse if you're married in order to um, tackle that together. Um, taking a look at the budget together is a great way to uh, make sure that you're on track for the month. Next, we have find a side hustle. This is an area that I think um, I'm doing decent at. It's an area that I want to continue to look at because you know you might be missing something. Maybe someday um, this YouTube channel will become um, a side hustle. That's kind of the goal. But you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's fine. Um, so that's why I have a picture of a video camera. You could also, if you're skilled, you could edit videos. People edit pictures. You might be a photographer. I know a couple of photographers that do really well, not necessarily as a side business, but as their um, main job and main um, business. Um, we have a picture of a computer because there are tons of things out there that you can do online to make money. Um, I teach online. I've talked about that before. Um, you might be able to use um, your computer to be a virtual assistant. I don't know a whole lot about this, but I know that there's people that work for companies or businesses and they kind of just do busy work or do kind of whatever they ask. It's all done remotely. Um, it's another thing you could look into. I have a picture of a box there because we like to thrift and flip items. So that's something you could do. Um, and if you're handy, then there's people out there that will want you to fix things for them, build things for them. Um, there are so many things you can do for a side hustle. I just named a couple. So um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like to do. Last but not least, we have thrift. Um, using coupons and savings apps are also really important and can really save you money because you're buying things anyway, so you might as well get the best price that you possibly can for them. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a website that I like to use um, that sometimes has coupon codes that can definitely save you a lot of money. Um, I like to, talk, to, to use Fetch now. I've talked about that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for Fetch. I've also um, like to use Rakuten. It used to be Ebates. And there's just there's so many out there um, that you can be involved in. I'll talk more about them later, but um, just utilizing all those resources can definitely save you money. That was a lot. I hope you found some value in that. I really want you guys to crush your debt, get rid of it. Um, let me know if you um, eliminate a loan here soon, or if you are saving for something. I'd love to hear more about it. Um, leave that leave a note in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, that really does help us out. And thank you for watching. Remember, it's just that simple.